happy day students i am sure you are fit and fine at home let's look at another interesting lesson today in your class 8 english the name of the lesson is feathered friend when i say feathered friend i'm sure all of us would think about a bird yes it is definitely about a bird and the name of the author is arthur c clark so you could look at the picture of the author that i've given and also at the different work that he has done that is the different novels like rendezvous with rama the sentinel big 3 a space odyssey so let us know more about the author he was born in december 1917 and died on 19th march 2008 he was a british science fiction writer science writer under sea explorer and television series host he wrote over a dozen books and many essays for popular magazines in 1961 he received the kalinga prize a unesco award for popularizing science his science fiction writings in particular earned him number of hugo and nebula awards which along with a large readership made him one of the towering figures of his genre so you can here look at different uh, novels that he has written i have given you few pictures here whenever you are free you can just go through it and do some research on it and try to read the books now the different characters that you would read in this lesson i have just given here the names you can just look at it now let us look at the introduction It is a science fiction short story about a small canary and how her existence on space station helped save lives. The narrator says that he is unaware of a regulation that prevents pets from being on a space station and that Sven would ignore it anyway. His story may be a short about weak being strong and the least being the most valuable. Sven probably would not be a construction worker on earth and Caribel was overlooked as a possible alarm system because of her cost being so cheap. In the story Caribel is invaluable alarm system but something else that the story brings out is how Caribel was a boost in morale for the space station and became the general pet. So here Sven talks about that he is not aware of a regulation that pets are not supposed to be got to the space station and also he talks about uh you know the weak being the strong when you look at a person and you say he is weak but at times the same person proves to be the strongest and how the least expensive thing something which you would have uh, you know left saying that it is least expensive it would really become the most exp expensive thing or the valuable thing in our life so the po uh, the author compares here two things and it is also about how canary who is not considered to be very valuable but she becomes an alarm system in the space station and also becomes the general pet so if you look at the summary the narrator says that he is unaware of the regulation that is that is you know preventing him from getting a pet on the play station but sven ignores it anyway so here he is a construction worker space construction worker at the space station and he gets he gets a little fellow here canary which got him a bonus being under 150 pounds unlike his heart bound counterpart sven could you know sit back and look at his work without fear of falling off the building sven was smart to have caribel as a pet because it took a close to nothing to support her the author found caribel after hitting the head on an angle beam so he actually found her when he hit his head on an angle beam he saw caribel for the first time although he had been hearing her so he could hear to her uh, voice or noise that she made but when he is head hit an angle beam that time he first saw caribel caribel the canary found out how to make her way in the zero gravity and was sufficient at it so when she was in space of course we all know about gravity in space right but she found her way like she was successful to spend to spend her time there sven did not own up at being his pet at first but it did bring her from a fairy home earth after leave so initially he did not consider her as his pet sven had said that he had brought her uh probably he did not accept initially that it was her pet right so he then finally told that he has got her from a science experiment they didn't have any trouble actually because he always had an ex explanation for the noises that she had been made that she was making throughout so he used to have all kinds of explanations the narrator woke up one day with a headache and was slow with the morning activities so one day when the narrator woke up with a you know pretty severe headache he was also slow uh, with his morning activities that time he found that and he was also missing from the breakfast table 
okay so he was looking for caribel so he was trying to find out where she is caribel was found in a stunned state so when he was looking out for caribel he found her in a very stunned state that is in a very shocking state and they could not hear a heartbeat someone had you know suggested to give her an oxygen from the oxygen face mask which served as an oxygen tent for caribel so one person suggested that let us give her the oxygen from the oxygen mask and said and see if we can revive her the oxygen revived caribel and she could call everyone to the breakfast station but passed out again so she could finally be revived and she called everyone at the breakfast station and again she passed out the narrator notices that caribel was passing out because of the air being bad an air purifier had frozen and the single 500000 dollar alarm had failed to go off so finally they find out the reason why she is passing out again and again so it was because of the bad air and the air purifier had frozen and uh, there is an alarm system which actually failed so caribel had actually saved everyone's life the narrator says if one is ever on a playstation he or she will not be surprised or alarmed if there was any bird song you know uh, recognize for the bird because it's the only cheap thing available as an alarm system so that is how the narrator tries to make out that okay anyways if you're on a play station don't be surprised if there is a bird song or there is a bird because that would be one of the cheapest backup alarm system because the original alarm system had gone off but caribel be you know when she was unconscious and when oxygen mask was give, uh, given through oxygen mask when oxygen was given to her she revived but she was passing out every time at that point they could make out that something was wrong where they realized that the air bag had the air had gone bad and the air purifier was frozen so somehow she became an alarm system and she saved the lives of all the people on the space station so what are the learning outcomes once we read the lesson what are the learning outcomes to understand what can be considered as not valuable on earth can be most useful in another environment so when we look at birds not may not everyone would consider the bird as a valuable thing you know we may say okay it's after all a bird but something that we always consider as invaluable on earth it can definitely be of more use in another environment help can be found from unexpected sources so it's not that you always know where you can look out for help at times you can also find help from unexpected sources to understand a setting different from our routine life so here we know what happens on earth we are used to it isn't it but when we read the lesson we understand the different settings in the space station in for the context from the title so we know feathered friend so what are what is the narrator talking about it's about the bird it's about the canary and how she becomes a general pet identify the elements of science fiction in the story so there are several things that you read throughout the story like gravity you know alarm system there are so many things that you read so we can understand the elements of science fiction in the story so i hope children you have understood the characters the introduction the plot the summary of the story so kindly go through the link again and read the lesson for better understanding thank you